and Elf is absolutely killing it today. The big question that everyone is asking, how high can this coin go over the next sort of six months or so? I'm going to be going into a deep analysis of the price prediction that we can be expecting for this coin in the next bull run and obviously over the next few weeks buying areas as well to be covered. So let's start off from a technical analysis standpoint, guys, and let's start off with the daily and let's look at the market structure, just the general market structure for this asset and see whether we are currently respecting it and what areas we need to be looking out for. And then we're going to be going into basically buying zones for this asset for us to basically be uh, looking to buy. Okay. <laughs> so I'm um, just talking about general uptrend. This is the bear market low that we did see. I mean, uh, obviously back in November uh, 2022, really, really horrifically low from there. And then obviously breaking these highs really, really strong. So the higher low point that I can see straight off the bat would be down here. This is going to be the first high low that I can see, guys. And then from there, we're obviously breaking this high, broke this high, significant pullback, another higher low here. And this is just us establishing bullish market structure, guys. So if we establish the bullish market structure, then basically we can look at the areas of reversal. And um, for 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 this asset to essentially come down and respect those levels of support. If it loses the level of support, then we can be looking for a reversal, okay? And that's obviously bearish momentum. So in terms of a bullish market structure right now, it's looking really, really strong here on the daily. The, the most recent higher low that I would say here is around 56 cents, guys. So obviously, since that higher low has been set, we're up around 41%, so it's looking very, very, very bullish. But let's not forget, it's parabolic, guys. It's parabolic right now. A lot of the other altcoins today, they're not really moving that much. This asset is absolutely mooning. So what does this tell us? It tells us that we need to essentially come down. The buying areas that you could be looking out for with this asset and getting involved with this asset would be would they would be quite simple, guys. I'm just going to put in a few areas here. I mean, straight away, obviously, we've got a break of structure to the upside there. But again, this higher low is the market direction point that I want to be referencing here, guys. This 56 cents. If we lose 56 cents, then we're looking for probably a bit of a bearish downtrend for a little while, okay? But we're looking for a bit of a bearish downtrend until we see a break to the upside. So yeah, this is the correctionary point I want to be referencing for now. In terms of a buying zone, in terms of a buying zone, obviously we're still bullish if we're above 56, guys. We're still bullish if we're in this zone. So um, it's looking pretty good there. So even if we see a lovely, lovely bounce, higher lows getting hit or higher lows getting set, because obviously we're seeing us moon right now. We need to be setting higher lows. So the buying point that I would say for this asset to be really keeping an eye on would probably be around 68 cents and also you can see heavy levels of support coming through at around 67 as well there guys so yeah not looking too bad i wouldn't be buying this asset at the top obviously we've got a long-legged doji star candle on the daily as well guys that um that essentially means there's uncertainty um in in the direction of the chart right now so that's definitely one to watch out for in the next 12 hours and 28 minutes whatever happens to this candle is obviously going to be helping us predict a direction for this asset. Now, let's look back in previous price action and see if we can get a prediction for this asset as to how high we could go and how much money we can make if we were essentially buying it now, okay? So points to be looking out for there, there, guys. You've got clear resistance at this point here from this candle body close. You can see we absolutely got slammed down there. You've obviously got, I think, all-time highs coming through from this area on this chart. Yeah, all-time highs on this area from um, OKX there, and that's up at around $1.28. If we were to just straight to bang it to all-time highs from now that would nearly be a 2x but not quite probably a 1.6x just off the bat in terms of resistance areas again guys for this pump because obviously we're not just going to keep going up with this move guys it's not going to go parabolic and if it does we're going to get slammed down as you can see from previous price action when we went parabolic like this we got absolutely wrecked okay so we don't want that okay we don't want that we want market structure and uh, we want this to look really really good so in terms of a, a sell-off point if you are holding then obviously it's not financial advice, do your own research. The points I will be looking out for there is 88 cents, 93 cents, $1. Obviously, $1 will be very, very reactive there. And then coming down, setting levels of support on different areas, and then seeing a nice uptrend continue if we can set a really nice confirmed higher low there. In terms of a price prediction for the bull run, guys, let's look at ELF on CoinMarketCap and see what we're working with here. You can see in terms of a market cap right now, currently set at around 569 million. This is its own blockchain, guys. If we're using this as a comparison to other coins in the space, you can you could probably call it up and compare it to like Solana or Dot. And um, it's looking looking pretty good. If you go to the website, guys, it's actually got a really, really, really clean website. Really nice utility as well. So um, this is definitely a coin that I wouldn't overlook. Okay, I wouldn't overlook it for the next bull run. But the big question you're asking yourself is, the big question you're asking me is, how high can this go? How much money can I make off this asset? Okay, so if we're looking at all-time highs, 
from previous bull runs, guys. All time highs from, from the previous bull run. It would be uh, probably 2018. I would be referencing for the highs there because we didn't quite get it there in 2021. I don't know whether their marketing team was uh, was trash or something, but um, yeah, didn't quite get there. But what I'm saying here in terms of a positive outlook for this asset right now, we're already at 80 cents. We're nearly at all time highs from the previous bull run there. So um, that obviously shows that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of movement for growth here over the next sort of six months to a year for this asset because obviously we're coming into this really nice run and if we're already 60 percent 70 percent complete um comparing it to the previous bull run then there's obviously a lot of room for growth so the question you're asking me is how high can this go so if we look at all-time highs it's going to be around two dollars and 42 usually in the bull runs with these with these altcoins that are reactive at this time in this early stage we're probably looking for around a five to ten x on this asset if we're looking for a price for that guys it probably would be put in this coin at around seven dollars five to seven dollars that's sort of what the price prediction would be and uh, just for the dopamine hits, let's get that drawn in on the chart for a, from a percentage standpoint coming up like so. It would obviously be very, very, very strong up to around $5 would be around a 5x for this asset. Now, guys, we do need to set market structure. We need to be very, very um, cautious. If this if this guy runs all the way up, it's going to come all the way back down. OK, so we need to basically be nice, strong uptrends as we go and just uh, just do something along the lines of that. Right. Really, really nice and strong if this asset is going to continue to rise. But overall, really bullish, guys, looking really, really good for an altcoin to be reacting like this um in in the current market that we're in obviously bitcoin's not having a great day as well so um this is obviously very very bullish to see this asset asset doing that so yeah that would be my outlook here on elf and some of you are saying like, oh, you shouldn't be buying this asset right now. You're right. You probably shouldn't. You should wait for a significant pullback and uh, a nice new higher low to be set. OK, that's sort of what I would say there. Obviously, do your own research. If you want to buy it, buy it. But uh, right now, I wouldn't be buying. I'd be waiting for a nice little pullback. But yeah, that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will be back. Um, I will be back literally every day now making crypto videos for you. So make sure you drop a sub on the channel. Notification bell on. You're never going to miss one of my uploads. But yeah, that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Peace out. And goodbye from me, Crypto Chester.